All right. Hi, everyone. Um, we'll go ahead and get started. So welcome to Distributed Collaboration. My name is Hillary Curtis, and I'm a product manager on ArcGIS Enterprise. Um, so today, really excited to introduce the concept of collaboration to you, and then we'll walk through a couple demonstrations on how to set up a collaboration and how to share your content. So I'll talk a little bit first about what distributed collaboration is and some patterns and concepts to consider for your own organization, and then we'll walk through the demos. So just wanted to do a really quick poll, maybe a show of hands. How many of you are familiar with collaboration? You've heard of it, maybe you've read the doc, maybe you visited us at the showcase at Craig Crate. And then how many are using collaboration now? Andrew, <laughs> wonderful, <laughs> perfect. So um, even though we'll not get into many of the really in-depth technical concepts about collaboration, we definitely invite you all to visit our other sessions. So we'll walk through a what's new in ArcGIS Enterprise on Thursday, and then a WebGIS crash course, which will cover ArcGIS Online and ArcGIS Enterprise on Friday. And then also visit Caroline and myself at the showcase area for the Enterprise section if you have any questions. We're here available to answer um, today and tomorrow. And feel free to contact me if you want to come up after and trade cards or ask any questions. I'm available as a resource. So what is distributed collaboration? So the show of hands showed maybe half of you are familiar with collaboration, but I just wanted to define it before hopping into the demonstration. So distributed collaboration establishes a trusted, collaborative environment with others. And by others, we mean other ArcGIS Enterprise portals or with ArcGIS Online. And in establishing that trusted environment, it enables the sharing of data and information quickly, easily, and repeatedly without having to go outside of ArcGIS. So we've heard some interesting stories this week about maybe taking screenshots of your data or exporting it and providing it to other participants, but this is a really great way to keep all of your data in your own environment and just allow access to those bits and pieces with others that you're interested in sharing with. So a couple of common patterns. Um, we talked about collaboration with online. So we have a one-to-one -one pattern. Maybe there's two enterprise portals that are collaborating together and sharing content between them. Or maybe you have an enterprise portal and you're looking to push your data up to online. Maybe you're interested in maintaining it and monitoring it, making sure it's your authoritative data before you push it up to the ArcGIS online cloud, and then sharing it with the public. Or you can also share it back to enterprise if you're collecting field data or if you're using online as kind of a central repository for information, but you want to be able to provide it back to enterprise, there's definitely that two-way flow of information that's capable within collaboration. There's also another pattern between many ArcGIS enterprise portals. So maybe you're distributed across um, different states, different cities geographically, and you have many distributions of enterprise, but you want to be able to contain all of your authoritative information in a central portal where maybe corporate has access or another governing body. That's another great pattern that involves many different enterprise deployments. So how does this work? So we can talk about it conceptually, but what does this actually mean? So it's two things. Administrators set up a collaboration. You can either script it through the ArcGIS API for Python, or you can set it up through the portal home app in the UI, which is what I'll show you today. Once that is set up, content is shared via the same group um, sharing settings that you may be familiar with. Users simply share their items to a group that's linked to a collaboration, and those that are participating in your collaboration can receive it. There's really no new concepts or no new theories, workflows to try to understand. It's that simple group sharing model that applies to collaboration as well. So I wanted to talk about the evolution of the features since there are some differences in different versions of enterprise and some of the different features and functionality that are available. So the feature was introduced at 10.5, so if you're looking to collaborate, be sure to be on, at a minimum, ArcGIS Enterprise 10.5. At that um, version, we were able to share items as reference, and I'll talk a little bit about what that means. At 10.5.1, we introduced the ability to collaborate with online, so if you're looking to collaborate with online, be sure that you're at 10.5.1 or above, although we do highly recommend using 10.6 for that. At 10.6, we introduced a concept to share layers as copies as well as by reference, 
and also introduce some new synchronization status monitoring that allows administrators um, better access into monitoring the status of their collaborated items. So again, we do highly recommend being on 10.6 if you are collaborating with online or just through enterprise, it's gonna allow you that additional feature functionality set. So what types of items can be shared? So this is not an exhaustive list, but anything from your flat files, CSVs, Word documents, Excel files, shape files, web maps, et cetera. So this table kind of outlines what can be shared as a reference and what can be shared as a copy. So as a reference, if I'm sharing my item with Caroline, that means that I'm sharing for her access into my source item. So the URL that will be shown in her portal will actually reference my source URL. If I share an item as a copy, so if I'm sharing a feature layer as a copy, I'm actually creating a new hosted feature layer in her portal that she'll be able to access and host within her own portal. So for item shared as reference, that means if I'm editing something, she's able to see my edits immediately. For items shared as copies, if I'm editing, I'm going to synchronize those edits back to her between one hour and for a total of one day on a continuous basis. So we'll talk about that in the demo. All right. So let's go ahead and look at setting up a collaboration between enterprise and enterprise. If my browser will load. Let me see. Okay. All right, so here on the left-hand side, I'm gonna show you the vantage point of the host. So this is the portal that is setting up the collaboration. And on the right-hand side, this is gonna be the guest that's going to accept the invitation and they'll be able to complete the collaboration in that trusted environment. So the first thing I'm going to do is tab to organization. I'll do that on both sides. I'm gonna to go to edit settings. I'm gonna go down to the collaborations tab. So here I can see that my host already has a collaboration set up and that's completely fine. You can create more than one collaborations based on your needs. So I'm going to select create a collaboration and here I will title it Grant Park. And for this collaboration, I'm looking to collaborate content as we're working on a Grant Park redevelopment project. All right. Now for our workspace, this is really a container for our group. So again, users will be sharing their items to groups, but I need some type of container. So maybe we're working on the south side of Grant Park. So I'm going to say south side, Grant Park, and I'll copy that as my description, and I'll head to the group. So now I'm able to select a new group if I would like to link that to my collaboration, or I could select an existing group. Again, this is the same group that you already have in your portal, and I'm going to link the Grant Park project. So here I'm deciding if I want to send my feature layers as reference or as copies. So again, reference is a live access to that source layer, and as copies is creating a new item. And for this, I want the guests to just be able to receive my item. They don't need to edit it. They don't really need to do anything other than just look at the boundary layer for this project that we're working on together. So I'm gonna select references, and I'm gonna save my settings and invite the guest. Can everyone see this okay? Okay, good. <laughs> All right, so here I'm gonna invite my guest organization. I'm going to input their portal URL. And here I can decide if I want the guest to only be able to send content to me, to receive content from me, or both send and receive. I want them to be able to do both, so I'm gonna select send and receive. And this setting can always be changed afterwards. Now I'm gonna save that invitation, and it downloads a file for me. So at the beginning of the session, we talked about that trusted collaboration, and this is where that comes into effect. The actual download and exchange of these invitation response files is what sets up that collaboration. So here you can see this file. So say I'm not the administrator for my guest portal as well. In this case, I would need to email the file or some, use some other type of file sharing system to be able to transmit that file to my guest. So on the guest side, I'm going to accept the invitation that's been provided to me by the host. 
In this case, I'll just drag and drop it over here. Wow. We'll go back and try that again. Accept invitation, drag and drop the file. Okay. So for this, does the host collaborate, does the collaboration host require web tier authentication? If they do, then you select yes. In this case, they do not. So I'm going to accept this invitation and it will auto generate a response file. I'm going to provide that back to the host here. So I'm going to say accept the guest invitation, drag in that response file, accept the invitation, and you can see that my guest is now active. And here I want to make sure that I join that workspace. So on the guest side, I'm going to head to this action cog, join the workspace, and here now as the guest, I'm able to select my groups that I want to participate in the collaboration. I'm going to link an existing group that Grant Park Redevelopment Project, and I would like to send my layers as copies. So I'm going to select send my feature layers as copies. Now remember for items sent as copies, that requires a sync schedule since it's not live access to that source layer. So in this case, I can decide that I want to sync my edits at five o'clock every day. So I'm gonna select 1700. And I want that to repeat every 24 hours. So there's a lot of granularity that you can provide here. If you want your synchronization to happen every hour, you can do so. If you want it to be once daily, then that's all available and set at the guest level. So I'm gonna go ahead and join the workspace. I successfully joined it and the collaboration is complete. So now both of these portals can collaborate with each other by sharing their items to groups. The next thing I wanted to show you is a collaboration from ArcGIS Online with an ArcGIS Enterprise. So for ArcGIS Online, I have some content where I'm collecting field data from Survey123. So I'm going to tab to content, and the ArcGIS Online organization and the enterprise guest already have a collaboration set up. If I go to groups on the guest side on ArcGIS Enterprise, I can select this field data with ArcGIS Online group. So if I scroll down here, I'll maximize it, you can see that this group participates in the field data from Survey123 collaboration, and any changes to items that are set to synchronize will synchronize at five o'clock every day. So on the ArcGIS online side, I want to go ahead and share these items with the group that I've linked to the collaboration. It's a simple share to this group. I'm going to select OK. And now those items are in my group on ArcGIS Online. So now at five o'clock today, these items will be synced back with my enterprise and they'll have access to these feature layers. So now I wanted to show you a collaboration between enterprise and enterprise where items are being shared as reference. So source layers are being shared live with the other enterprise portal. So we'll go back to the host and I want to go to my content. So here these two portals are collaborating on a redevelopment project where the host wants to be able to send a boundary layer for the project back to the guest. So what I'll do here is the same as ArcGIS Online. I'm gonna select the items that I want to share, click share, and I'm gonna share this with the Forest Hills project that we're working on together. Now since these items are being shared as reference, they should be immediately available for the guest. And there they are. So it's a simple click of this and to share with the group that's linked to the collaboration and now they're available. So one thing that I wanna show you is I wanna go into the site boundary and I wanna make an edit to the site and show you how the edits are reflected in real time with the guests. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this in my map. And I will open the site boundary on the guest side so you can see how the two parcels are in parallel, they're showing the same boundary. Now what I'm gonna do on the host side is I'm actually gonna edit, and I'm gonna add some features. Oops. I'm going to extend this boundary because we just bought a new subset of the land. All right, so on the host side, I mean, sorry, on the guest side, you can see how that edit was immediately available. That's pretty cool, right? <laughs> so that means that I shared the feature layers reference, they have live access to that source item, 
edits are available immediately. And the way to differentiate this is if you go into the item, go into the group, Forest Hills, you can see that site boundary feature layer. And it will have a badge that says it's collaborated content. So that's a way to know that you're receiving this item from another portal so that maybe you don't confuse it with some items that you've created in your own. If I go down here, I'm gonna look at the URL for the item. You can see below here, it's dev821. This portal is 822. You can see how that item references this host portal. So that's a display of how you can set up a collaboration, how you can share your items from ArcGIS Online to ArcGIS Enterprise, ArcGIS Enterprise to other ArcGIS Enterprise and some patterns of use. So kind of open it up for any questions that you might have or any comments, yeah. Ooh. I don't know if this is on, but we'll try this. Hello. Okay. With ArcGIS Online to uh, Enterprise Collaboration, yes. uh, does that have to go through a reverse proxy in a DMZ if you're sharing as reference? Sorry, it's... If you're sharing as reference, does it have to go through a reverse proxy in the DMZ because it's going to be referencing a URL that won't necessarily be publicly available? From ArcGIS Online to ArcGIS Enterprise, does it have to go through a reverse proxy? No. Okay. No, you could just share it. Share it immediately into the group and they'd be able to view it. Yeah. Questions? Um, is it the exact same process to set up the collaboration with ArcGIS Online as it is with Portal? Yes, exactly. So through edit settings, through the collaboration tab. Um, in that case, the ArcGIS Online organization will need to be the host. So when you're setting up that pattern, just ensure that whoever's setting up from ArcGIS Online is the host of the collaboration they create it and then they invite the enterprise guest. Okay. Yeah, good question. I can so, it. <laughs> so uh, when you sync and do a copy, sorry, you know, so when you make a copy, yes. by reference, um, if the original... There you go. <laughs> if you make a copy, instead of using by reference, you get the featured copy, um, and then the original host server goes away or becomes uncollaborated, does the copy remain? What happens to the copy? So if the host maybe deletes the item or the server is unavailable or something happens to the item, it will be available for the guest until that next sync schedule. So it'll show that it's available, maybe you've set sync every 12 hours. Once that 12 hour mark will hit, the item will become unavailable for the guests. Yeah, yeah I, I, I will actually I'll caveat that. There is a way as a uh, recipient, if you receive uh, content, you can actually enable delete protection. Mm. So if you went to the item and you went to the settings tab of that item, there's a delete protection option. If you enable delete protection and the sender unshares that item or removes that item, it will yeah. still remain in your organization. You just won't receive any updates to that item. I guess I was thinking of it as maybe a way to transfer ownership of something after you were done with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, in that case, you have a hosted feature service on your portal and you now own it. And it's protected from being removed from, by the sender. Yeah, Andrew? So if, if you make a schema change to, let's say you go from enterprise to AGL setting copies, if you make a schema change, how is that rectified? So the schema change will happen from the owner to the guest. So if I'm the owner of an item and I change something, at the next synchronization, that edit will appear for the guest. If I'm the guest and I make a change, the edits will be overwritten by the host, by the owner of the item. So it's a one-way synchronization Okay. One way flow of edits. And, and if those edits are to the schema of the service, we won't share those schema updates. Okay. So the replica is based on the original schema of the service, so any subsequent schema changes you'd have to unshare and then reshare that item for the recipient to see those schema changes. And then if you unshared and reshared, it wouldn't preserve the items ID in your AGL org, correct? So you get a new URL for that item. Uh, 
you would get the same item ID, um, whether it's published to the same server in ArcGIS Online. We can't guarantee that okay. because they obviously have a, a cluster of servers. So. Okay. All right. Well, that's what we had um, today. But again, join our other sessions for more information. Thanks for coming. We'll be in the showcase area if you have any other questions. Thank you.